My mother was recently diagnosed with Alzheimer's. An emotional Dr. Oz opening up like never before. I fear I may have missed some of the signs. I don't fear it, I know it. The longtime TV host revealing his 81-year-old mother's diagnosis, coming just months after losing his father to kidney failure. At times getting candid about his own guilt and frustration with the disease. I suffered what I think many go through, which is the guilt that she missed the boat, uh, the clues. And because we didn't tell each other the truth in my family, it delayed everything. The truth, the warning signs that so many miss. We all think we'll figure it out when it's ha happening because it's so easy. I'm here to tell you, it's not easy to find that slithering snake in the grass. But Dr. Oz did notice a sign. He says his mother was more stubborn than usual, which led to her getting tested for the disease this summer. Doctors confirmed she had Alzheimer's. And I see her beautiful eyes going gray and, and going thoughtless. I see the, the memories melting away. And I realize I could have slowed that down. If only I had gotten to her, if, it, if, I, if I had thought about it, her own son missed it. Does it scare you about you? It scares me big time about me. Dr. Oz was tested for his risk of developing the disease and revealed the results on his show, where he learned he carries one of the genes for Alzheimer's, but he also carries a protective gene as well. Well, that, that's better. As a father and grandfather, he worries about the future of his own family and the thought of losing his mother. And I had a great a bit of news when Daphne had her a baby, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Daphne's my oldest daughter. My mom's very close to Daphne. My mom remembered Daphne, but couldn't process the daughter part. And all of a sudden you realize there'll be a day when my mom forgets me, her firstborn son. That's tough. Do you think about that? Yeah, you, I'm gonna lose my mom twice, right? I'll lose the woman I love and loved me. And then one day I'll lose her body, but it won't be at the same time. Wow, that's a really, really revealing interview, Dr. Oz. I've got to say, is. thousands and thousands of people wrote uh, on social media and other forums to me, and about half of them, it was because it was a shared experience. Mm -hmm. I had no idea how many of us are going through this. 16 million Americans taking care of their loved ones, about 6 million people with Alzheimer's. And it's the same story. They lose their truth as our family did. We struggle. Because who wants to be the one that puts their hand up and say there's something wrong with mom? Well, I think you almost feel like if you're an optimist, you're like, oh, she just forgot for right now. Oh, she looks great today. Yeah. Like, I can understand where, because you know your mom, you wouldn't think to go down that road. So what was it that made you say yes? We have to go down that road. My mom was always very stubborn. Yeah. She was known for being stubborn. But she became so obstinate about certain things. I began to realize it, was, it didn't make any sense. And it was because she really wasn't understanding what I was getting at. And that's what I really want to share with everybody so they don't make the same mistakes that I made. It's not obvious to find these signs, but they're there. You have problems with basic judgment about space, right? M mom wants to put a sofa over here and move it into this corner. It won't fit there. Oh. And you think, well, mom just doesn't have good spatial relations. No, m mom's not processing information. Word searching. My mom is a very articulate woman. Instead of using the word beautiful, she would say more prettier. She'd have to do mental yeah. jiu-jitsu to get around words that she couldn't remember. These are subtle clues. Uh, I say them now and they're obvious to me, but when they were happening, I denied it. I didn't want to believe it. My father, God bless him, I think this is a big part of it, enabled some of that. He didn't want to acknowledge that his 60-year-old wife, 60 years of marriage yeah. wife, didn't had a problem that he couldn't cure. He was a doctor, too. You know, you talked about feeling guilty, which, of course, you know, we're, we're all just human, doing mm -hmm. the best that we can. I hope you don't feel guilty. But, I mean, what, how do, how, what could you have done anyway? Yeah. I mean, even if you had gotten this diagnosis, well, how could you have helped? The big breakthrough idea here is, although we're not great at treating Alzheimer's yet and we're getting closer, we have really good ideas of how to re reduce the chance of it starting, mm -hmm. preventing it from occurring and that's what I went through so once you know those signs and by the way we'll put these signs up on, on today.com doctoroz.com all our social sites so people have them but I also want to share with you what I learned when I went through this pretty intensive evaluation because what I went through is what everyone should be going through first off if we do the things to prevent Alzheimer's our brains actually get younger Mm. We, we remember words quicker. We get a little sharper mm -hmm. in what we're thinking through. So there's a benefit today as well as avoiding Alzheimer's. But first thing, if you can see your belly, everyone in America, please just look down. If you can see your belly, I can tell you your brain is shrinking. 
Big belly means small brain. Uh -huh. Because you, if your big belly creates a metabolic disarray that causes inflammation in your brain and you start to predispose yourself to, to conditions like Alzheimer's. So reduce your waist size, which will also help with things like cholesterol. Uh, any kind of activity that's, that's, that's regimented and rigorous, like intermittent, uh, uh, rapid... Like, like physical stuff. Physical stuff, yeah, yeah, like yeah. sprinting quickly yeah. for a minute. Yeah. Right? It's, it's those types of training that are really valuable. And finally, things like meditation and prayer actually work because you exercise your brain in a different way. Mm. And it's important to do that because you build new connections between the synapses so you can overcome whatever the Alzheimer's might be causing to begin with. How's your mom doing? Mm -hmm. Mom, today, she's pretty good. Yeah. Some she's good days, some she's in bad days. I mean, she still remembers a lot. It hurt me that, that, that I have to repeat every day that she has another great-granddaughter. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but it's the long-term game that I'm fearful of. And that's what I'm hearing from all the people writing yeah. to us. And that's the real goal. Get ahead of it now. Be the one to put your hands up. Mm -hmm. This year, the show is about my show. is about the power of one. The power of one person to make a difference. Yeah. Be that person in your family's life. Save a life. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ross, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much.